When he believed in something, he didn't just write a check. Well, he did a little bit of that too. But he also rolled up his sleeves and went to work to make a difference. The most tangible example is this remarkable city that many of us call home. The Grand Rapids we see today reflects his passion for his community and his vision to make it the dynamic place it has become. Mom loved music, but Dad was the singer. He could simply turn any sentence into a song. I'll try it. Rick and Maru, eat your breakfast. <laughs> go into the car, go into the meeting, walk into the car. <laughs> Open the door, Richard, here we go. <laughs> so go for it. Put any random act that you may do during the day, any sentence that you're just thinking of talking about, put it to music, sing, and go for it. You'll, you'll get the drift. I say it with no hesitation, no reservation, no fear of contradiction. Rich DeVos is the greatest man I have ever known. And the secret of his greatness, one simple fact, his indomitable faith in Almighty God. Whether it was business or politics, music or education, art or science, health care or wealth sharing, supporting the church or rebuilding the city, Rich and his fellow hopers believe that God wanted them to change the world to be a better place. My name is George. <laughs> Despite our age difference, Rich and I had some things in common. We both gave speeches around the world, though I don't think he mangled the English language as often as I did. <laughs> we will move forward living in the assurance that you're home with Jesus and with Mom. And that fills the hole in our hearts that we're all now, now feeling. Welcome home. We will miss you every day. We remember you, your stories, and especially your unconditional love for our family.